Hey there everyone, how's it going? My name is Red and this is Star Wars Yu-Gi-Oh! And welcome to another Coalition of Scrubs video, where I bring you my segment, The Budget Revolution, where I talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! in a way that is friendly for everyone. And I don't want to repeat myself over and over, and we should not be buying Yu-Gi-Oh! cards unless we have the money. I do want to say that our friend Scrapter YGO is not going through the best of times, financially speaking, so if you are buying anything on TCG Player and want to support him, you can use his affiliate link down below. Other than that, this video is going to be a short one. If you do want to see a budget deck, let me tell you which is my budget deck choice for this format. It's Goki. Okay, okay, I know, but hear me out. The Goki engine never took any hits and has actually received more monsters, which make the deck more consistent and more generic warrior support in the form of Codebreaker Zero. Oh, and also, of course, how can we forget about Fire Flame Lady, which is the best piece of generic warrior support we've gotten in years. I think the last good piece of warrior support was Isold. But this makes Goki just a powerful link engine, just as any other. What makes Goki a great choice for a budget deck this format is the fact that they have a great new boss monster in the form of Goki the Power Load Ogre. This card is not only unaffected by other card effects, you can also once per turn tribute one Goki Link monster, even itself, and then target cards on the field equal to its link rating and destroy them. Not only that, but this only requires two plus warrior monsters, which means you can use Ice Sold and a Jump Forward and all of that to make this card, which also makes it playable in other warrior decks like Infernobles if they were to get hit. I think Goki is a great choice this format because no one is actually aware of how good their link monsters are. But don't worry, I didn't come only to talk about the Goki deck, I also want to shout out two different budget decks from Rise of the Duelist. Both of these cards are great going second cards. The first one is Gizme Kokami, the dreaded Luch Dragon. I hope I pronounced that right. You can destroy all monsters a special summon from the extra deck by paying 1500 life points, and you can also special summon this card from your hand if there are two or more monsters that were special summoned from the extra deck on the field. This card is selling at about $2 which is insane for me, because of how good it is. I mean, probably not this format, but man, this card is going to spike, like, eventually. Uh, the destroying effect is not even once per turn. Uh, I mean, like, what the heck, this card is insane, I actually have like 6 copies coming in the mail. And for the second card, I have to shout out Genesis YGO. I'll try to put his channel link in the description. He actually brought this to my attention. Digmatic Nexus is a card that cannot be normal summon or set. It must be a special summoned by its own effect, which is targeting 4 extra deck monsters in the graveyards, a special summon in this card, and if you do, banish those cards. At the start of the damage tab, if this card battles a special summon monster, you can destroy all of your opponent's attack position monsters, then inflict 800 damage for each fusion, exist, link, or synchro monster that was destroyed by this effect. Um, I think this effect speaks for itself. But the best part is that this card is about 20 cents. So yeah, this card is going to at least see a little bit of experimentation in the future. It will also probably be played in dedicated dogmatic builds in the future. And um, yeah, there you have it. I want to remind you to subscribe to the Coalition of Scrubs and like this video. You can also check out my channel down in the description and the rest of the channels from the rest of the members of the Coalition. Um, yeah, uh, I want to remind you, of course, that if you want to buy any cards uh, that I've talked about or others, uh, you can use uh, Scrap the YGO's TCG link in the description because he actually is uh, struggling a little bit. And uh, I miss him and I want him to start uh, doing content again. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, other than that, the end screen should be showing now, of course, I've never known how to do um, how to do outros so bye bye <laughs>